Watch out! Because on this episode of World Twilight Gopher, we're going to be swinging into Renault Winery, and we'll be looking at Vineyard National Golf Course in Egg Harbor City, New Jersey. There's a lot to like about this 18-hole golf course. Golf course was designed by Ed Sheerton and was built in 2007. It's a public golf course with bent grass and bent fairways. We're going to be showing you the first nine holes of this golf course, starting off with number one. Course plays pretty long, and the back tees is about 7,219 yards with a slope of 132 and a ranking of 74 points. Listed online that the number one hole is the signature hole. However, of course did see some ownership changes, so it might be another one because you're supposed to see the vineyard on this. Now the rates on this course do fluctuate and they're based off of demand. Looking at this right now, rates are about $125 to play it in the summertime slash spring. That's a lot doesn't say this isn't a beautiful golf course to play if you get the chance $125 a lot of money but still kind of worth it if you get you know if it's a course that you're willing to play and this place gets busy so it looks like you're gonna have to get a tee time if you're trying to play here in the summer and it's it's it, they have a lot of venues going on throughout the year so this place is packed it's the place to be in Egg Harbor City spend $120 if you want to play some good golf and I will say it's pretty worth it. You just water on most of the holes It's one of my favorite courses to play in South Jersey. The greens played pretty well They put pretty well uh, for the most part when we were out there not a lot of play on the greens You can tell they took very good care it has decent membership fees starting about $2,200 for a single Twilight so you can play anytime after 2 o'clock uh, looks like only in April and October, and then play anytime after noon in November or March. That's pretty fair. Um, I don't know if green fees are associated with that, but that's pretty cheap when you start looking about how much you could play this course one time for 120. The highlight of this golf course would be the fees associated with the beers. They're very reasonable, and I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the overflow of beers from the venue that they have, but they were very cheap, uh, abnormal. Also, the type of golf course that you would want to check out Golf Now or some other golf apps because they seem to be a little bit cheap. It looks like for a hot deal, it's about $60, $78, so about $20 difference. Uh, the course is ranked in top 100 golf courses. Dot com 70 72 72 so that's not that bad and I believe it because I think it is a great golf course overall the course does play pretty sh pretty short on some of the holes uh, I think number eight is a, a drivable hole it's only about 300 yards but there's a bunker cutting right through the middle and for the most part it's pretty you know you, can, you could lose a couple golf balls on this hole but it's pretty open to spray a driver and you're gonna have to hit driver on most of these holes because it's a long golf course at 7200 yards bunkers are good and there's nothing to say about the bunkers that uh you know compared to other golf courses that we're playing they're well designed you definitely kept uh, well good maintenance on the bunkers fun golf course i i recommend getting out here and playing uh this is only the front nine but it's enough to give you a good visual of where this golf course is going in the future and it's you got water on the left-hand side of this hole. I think this is six. I could be wrong. You got bunkers coming up right there, cut through. I mean, look at this. And then you got the vineyard right behind that. I mean, incredible golf course to get out if you ever get a chance to play. You're not going to see these vineyards on any other golf course, which makes this one of the signature holes in my eyes. And one of the most unique holes that we've seen on World Twilight Golfer. And I like to say I part it. But that's not the case, even though we had a good drive, putting it right on the right-hand side. And the fun thing about this is there's not much left there. You got a little 120-yard shot, nothing too crazy, but it's tough. It's real tough. It's, and you really want to keep that ball away from the right-hand side. This is, this is a great hole, though, because it's really a challenge to get par. And then this is the the drivable par four so then it goes right into a 300 yard par four with a bunker right on that left hand side i don't think i got it up there all the way 
and then obviously we're moving closer and closer to number nine which is a really fun hole because on your tee shot you have no idea where the hole is and even on your second shot it could be a blind shot if you don't hit a really far drive so that's really going to do it for this episode of world twilight golfer we'll finish on the 10th hole here which is a beautiful par four that drops down to the right hand side which used to be the number one hole and fun fact i ended up hitting off this hole thinking it was the number one so keep a lookout for more videos to come we're going to be hitting a lot more golf courses in the area that you're going to so just let us know where you're headed to and we're going to try to play a golf course there and if that's not going to work let us know in the comment and we'll head over to that area and try to play golf that's what we're doing here at world twilight golfer so keep a lookout and that's going to do it for this video and hell if you made it this far you might as well subscribe for more videos just like this one and as Thanks we always up. do